I'm going to show you today how to do a surf and turf dinner. Steaks, lobsters, asparagus, it's all going to come out in 20 minutes or less. It's easy. You'll think you're eating at a restaurant. I'm going to explain to you with the cooking guide. We have two nice ribeye steaks here. We're going to look under the beef section and you'll find that we have a one inch steak, which we have. It's on the four inch rack, which we have done. It's thawed and I want my steak medium, so I am going to give it seven to eight minutes. And over here is the internal temperature that the meat should be cooked to. Medium is between 150 and 160 degrees. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook these for the first eight minutes. Then we're going to turn them, put our lobster tails, our fresh vegetables, our drawn butter in, and you're gonna have a complete meal. So let me show you how easy this is. A little tip. Just give it a nice little brush of olive oil or canola oil. It helps with the crisping. You get that nice crispy part of the steak. Okay, very simply, touch and go. Cook time, eight, start. And in eight minutes, we're gonna come back and put everything else on. All right, we have one minute left on our oven. So we're going to take, I'm gonna do some asparagus. Just splash a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, a little kosher salt, a little pepper. If you'd like to give it a splash of lemon, feel free, I like to. Then once our oven goes off, we're going to place our lobster tails on simply by looking at the seafood. St two steaks are done. Our lobster tails are going to be four minutes each side, which is perfect, and we don't have to flip them. We're not gonna flip them. So four and four is eight. And then our vegetables take between six and eight minutes. So your whole meal is gonna come out together. And I'm gonna put the butter at the bottom so you have a nice parsley lemon butter at the end. So here we go. Oh, look at that beautiful browning, just in eight minutes. I'm gonna flip our steaks. Okay, lobster tails, they, you can buy them two different ways. Some of them come in the market with just the total shell on. They're perfectly fine. They cook the same amount of time. And the others come out where the shell has been cut and then the meat has been pushed out. It's kind of like what the restaurants do. If you see that, they're fine. They cook the same. Then we're going to take some veggies. Some beautiful asparagus and just you know, pile the food around, it'll all fit in there. Perfect. We're gonna give it, the steaks, another little brush of oil. And I'm gonna do a little bit of pepper all over everything. I never season my red meat because it extracts moisture. I'm gonna take our butter, put a little bit of parsley in. We're going to place our butter in an oven safe dish. Keep in mind anything that you can put in your conventional oven you can put in our new wave as long as it fits. Place it. I place the butter underneath the vegetables so none of the steak fat drips in to our butter. Simply touch and go. Cook time, eight minutes, start. And in eight minutes I'm going to put this all on a platter and show you how easy it is. Okay, our complete meal is done. Under 20 minutes. Look at this fabulous meal. So all you have to do is plate it. A really good trick, guys, is you want your meat to sit between five, seven minutes to let all the juices reabsorb. Sometimes if you cut it too early, it becomes tough and all the juices run out. Beautiful lobster tail. Let's get some. And then a steak. 
Look at how beautiful brown. And then let me grab my butter, put next to the lobster. And there you have it, a complete meal in under 20 minutes. Enjoy.